Hey you guys, good morning. Today's actually Tuesday um, and I'm up early. I've been getting up later, like I've been sleeping in, but today I was up at 7.30 and so I just jumped out of the bed. So, which is good, because it makes me know that I'm in fat burn, that I'm like up and ready to go. I don't want to fall back asleep. Anyway, so um, I figured this week I would do another week of what I eat in a day. Like I said, it's Tuesday, but the reason I'm doing it is because I'm going to my parents' house this weekend and I find that it is harder to be on program when I am not in my own house. So I figured what a better way to be accountable. So I'm gonna be doing this through Sunday, so six days worth of what I eat in a day. Like I said, it's 7.30. I'm gonna sit here and drink my huge water while I go through and read my Habits of Health and do my life book. I do this every morning. And then after I finish this cup of water and finish my reading, then we'll move on to my first feeling. But I always like to get, if you're new here, 32 ounces of water down before my first feeling just to get the day started and get my metabolism going. and get ready right now I got that 32 ounces of water done so I'm gonna have my coffee for this morning I just did it like I normally did as soon as I started video and that I was like oh my gosh because I had to use a cup that I used yesterday because I haven't run the dishwasher yet and I need to do this quickly so that I can go get ready so just know that it's not super dirty and I use the exact same shake for this exact same cup yesterday but I'm gonna finish this down the hatch and then I think I'm gonna do a lot of shakes today mostly because I got a lot of shakes but also I think that it helps to really like bring everything back down together if you watched my Facebook live the other day I did have dessert and it's hard to come back from that sometimes as far as like healthy mindset wise so I had a couple of days where things weren't as great as I'd like them to be definitely not like the past definitely progress but still so um I want to kind of get everything down to like low glycemic index stuff, which are shakes and anything that's powdered is very low glycemic index. So your shakes, your brownies, your cookies, your bakes, not that your uh, bars aren't great. They're delicious. They're awesome, but they're just higher on the glycemic index. So anyway, it's time to burp. All that to say, I'm going to have my coffee now. Okay. Time for fueling number two. Just like I said, although I would really love to have a bar right now really want to kind of like like I said bring everything down and lowest glycemic index so I'm gonna have a strawberry shake yesterday I turned this into a waffle and it was successful if you've been watching you know that last time I did a week of what I ate in a days I had a really bad time trying to make a shake into a waffle which doesn't usually happen to me but yesterday it worked perfectly however today I'm just gonna go ahead and make a shake because I know the baby's gonna wake up at any time and we have some errands we have to go run so I might as well just do something super simple in case she wakes up as soon as I make this. Don't need someone to save me, no. And don't come running to blame me. From miles away, I can tell that something's off. The way you look and how you pause. When you talk, I think you said enough You said you love for me something brand new You said this is something you would never do Here we are in your car, let me see who you are Who you really are, yeah Don't need you here to say you're sorry Cause if you're gonna leave me then We ended up, we were gonna go to Target and then a friend of mine that's coming with me, her boys fell asleep. So we waited a little bit and now it's definitely time to have a fueling and at our Target, because of COVID, you can't actually like get anything from the Starbucks until after you're leaving the store. So in order to make things quick, I am gonna have a bar today and I'm gonna have a Campfire S'mores bar. Um, I used to get these all the time. Um, let's see, I think I got them in my first box. I don't remember my first box ever three years ago. And they've always been a really 
good one for me, like a favorite of mine, but I just stopped getting them for a while and I have no idea why. So I got some this time and I think last time and I am almost out of them because I love them so much. So I'm gonna have this for my third fueling of the day and then my last, or my last fueling before dinner, I'll probably still have either a brownie or a shake and maybe I'll make a shake into a waffle. Okay, so we came home, I put the baby in her bed and now I think I'm gonna have a coffee shake. So, having to use a dirty cup again because I still have not done the dishes or I have not started the dishwasher. Anyway, what I think I'm going to do is add a brownie this time and then I'm going to add 10 ounces of coffee. Ooh, that looks so gross, but I promise it's the same thing. I'm going to add 10 ounces of coffee, ice, and actually because we're having fish for dinner, I'm going to add a cup of milk instead of water to make this into like a shake. So what I'll do is I'll do the coffee, I'll do ice, I'll do cold milk, and I'll do this and then blend it up. So I'll show you the end result. Okay, there's really not that much of a difference from the one I made this morning. It's maybe a little creamier, but it's still really, really good. So this is just a fueling and actually one healthy fat. This will be part of my healthy fats for the day. I get two of them and I just use one of them. Dinner time here in the Cyrus household. The baby's eating butternut squash, pears, and celery. And Robbie and I are having fish and shrimp. With I'm having green beans, he's having green beans and potatoes. So this actually finishes everything out for me today except for my optional snack. So it's one leanest, three green, three condiments, and one healthy fat because I did use some oil for the fish. Um, and then lastly, I have my optional snack left and I'll have that with my dessert after dinner. So, what's the matter? Do you want some more celery? Here you go. The baby is teething and like that tooth, it's her top left tooth. It's just about to pop through. I mean, it's really bugging her. She's really, really fussy, but Chewing on celery helps, I think, because it's like cold and hard and, well, kind of crunchy, so she seems to like to gnaw on it. But anyway, we're going to have dinner and then I'll come back to you for our last fueling, or my last fueling. Robbie, you want to have a fueling with me later? I might. Really? Yeah. I have a shake or something. Y'all, I almost did it. I almost ate this entire thing and forgot to tell y'all. Although you should know if you've been watching me for a while that I'm having an Optavia brownie with the Greek yogurt chips, which let's talk about this for a second. I think the old brownie has been gone now for a year and a half. I think it's been like a year and a half, if not two years. I don't know why we ever complain. Not we. I never complained. Some people complained about the Greek yogurt chips. Um, what? I stinking love them. So I'm having a decadent chocolate brownie with the Greek yogurt chips. And then um, PB2 and chocolate PB2 mixed together for an icing, as somebody calls it, on top. But thank you guys so much for watching today. Please enjoy the rest of this week of What I Eat In A Days. I want to thank you for always supporting me and for jumping on and commenting. I love to hear y'all's stories. But until tomorrow, I love you all and God bless you.